Kakadosh Bokertov. Yesterday we spoke about the importance of what it is that Erev Rosh Chodesh Sivan to do with the Tefilot during this day, and that's why there's also the Tefilat Ashla, which we'll be sending out to do with Chinuch Yeladim, which is a very important day for Segula. Minhag Asfaradim, also that today, which was, uh, it's brought down, the Panim Yafot brings down that it could be that the Minchama Vamalek actually happened on Erev Rosh Chodesh Sivan. But since it said, Bayom Azeh Baom Ibar Sinai, that the day that they actually traveled from Rifidim, they, they went to Har Sinai, this happened on Rosh Chodesh Sivan. So therefore the war of Amalek happened on Erev Rosh Chodesh Sivan. Now the Minhag of Sfaradim <coughs> is not to say Nefilat Apayim and Tachronim, and whether it's going to be Yan Hashem Yom Tzadat, Tefilat LeDavid, all the concepts of Tachronim, we don't say from Rosh Chodesh Sivan until the 12th or the 13th or even the 14th, we'll speak about the end uh, later on, closer to the date, but for sure from Rosh Chodesh Sivan until the 12th minimum. Why? Because Chag HaShavuot yesh lo Tashumim kol Shiva, and since the Chag HaShavuot has Tashumim kol Shiva, so therefore we don't say the Tachonim the entire time. So therefore starting from tomorrow, which is going to be Rosh Chodesh, there's not going to be Tachonim for the next 12 days. So I know a lot of people are going to be happy about that. Right? So therefore it comes uh, rabbis and just saying, what exactly is the reason? Because obviously we know Shlosh Deme Agbala, Rosh Chodesh is Rosh Chodesh. So we have Shlosh Deme Agbala, <coughs> which is basically the three days before Shavuot, which is very, very important. But Zakarosh Baruch Hu told us to get ready for Shavuot. Unfortunate is a person that's going to come and learn a lot of Torah, especially B'Tzifut, especially consecutively during these days. Says the Kud Yosef over here, if somebody's going to learn properly during the three days of Shlosh Deme Agbala, the three days which proceed to Shavuot. So it's a very big sigula. They will have success for the rest of the year in learning of Torah. So therefore, it's very, very important um, to pay attention to these three days because, again, the importance of the learning of the Torah. Some people have a minhag, whether it's going to be that they wouldn't even get married during these, these days, but it's a minhag yichidim. There's no problem whatsoever to get married. Also, some people have a minhag not to do the hakazad dam, which is basically to bloodlet on Erev Shavuot. Because of the Sakana, some people are Machminim, some people are not. But Meikar Adin, also there's no Isur, right, on Erev Yim Tov, especially that nowadays that we don't, uh, only very few people, they come and they take out blood. But he says, but if you can, try to be careful anyway this year, it comes out on Shabbat. We'll just finish off by mentioning Erev Chag Shavuot is a Yom of Teshuvah on Bitul Torah ve Kavoda Torah. So again, this is going to come out next Shabbat, so, which is basically this Shabbat coming up, which is Erev Shavuot. So he says it's a, a time for doing Teshuvah, whether it is that we didn't learn enough Torah or Kvoda Torah. And therefore, So therefore, it's important that we should just actually receive upon ourselves, whether to strengthen ourselves in the learning of the Torah Kedoshah, whether it's respecting the Torah, and also in the respecting of the rabbis as well. So these are just different talachot leading up to Shavuot, how important it is, whether it is the strengthening ourselves of Torah, Many times we wanted to learn much more Torah, but we didn't always have the opportunity. So therefore, we actually now have the opportunity during these days to strengthen ourselves in the learning of the Torah.